the Belgian Malinois has a reputation of being the superstar in the world of guard dog breeds. And not only in terms of speed and agility, but also in terms of that intelligence. This quick and athletic Belgian Shepherd has become the number one choice of police and military forces in recent years. But what is really behind the genius of this Belgian Malinois? Could this breed's popularity be just a whim of fashion? Or is the Malinois the real thing, the shining star on the firmament of today's guard dog breeds? Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss absolutely everything that you need to know about the mysterious yet incredible Belgian Malinois. Welcome back to the Femre Canine Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist, and I'm the founder and CEO here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. And everything we do on this channel is dedicated to helping you choose the perfect breed for you, and then how to become high-level canine leaders who can raise perfect canine companions. So if you do want to join this amazing community that we have got going on here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future video. But now, let's get straight into the video about the Belgian Malinois. And we're going to do a real dive into the details of this breed and find out what is behind the inconspicuous appearance of this shepherd dog. Also, we're going to discuss who should be owning one of these top-notch athletes. And let's get started with the intriguing history of this extraordinary breed. As the name suggests, the Malinois, or Mali, as often called by fans of the breed, originates from... Belgium. They are one actually of the four shepherd breeds the country calls their own, but have clearly overtaken their other shepherd Belgian breeds in terms of popularity. All of these four breeds were developed in the late 1800s for the purpose of effectively herding flocks of sheep. Now, whilst working together closely with the shepherd in charge, in the year 1885, Adrian Janssens, a professional shepherd himself, laid the foundation of what would later become the world-renowned Malinois. He started his project of creating a highly effective and agile sheepdog with a male called Voss and a female called Lys. These two dogs not only became the ancestors of all four Belgian shepherd breeds, but also the Beauvoir and the Dutch shepherd dogs. In the years following that first litter, the Belgian Shepherd breeds evolved considerably, but only the Malinois gained worldwide recognition. Its name, by the way, is owned to the Belgian city of Malines, the location of the first club promoting this fawn short hair version of the Belgian Shepherd dog. As the 19th century came to a close, there were less and less sheep left in Belgium. Hence, early breeders of the Malinois decided to develop dressage trials for these promising working dogs. These trials tested the dog's intelligence, obedience, and agility. Of course, the Malinois performed beautifully, and subsequently, their popularity then really began to soar. They were the first breed to join the Belgian police force and prove their capability by winning several international police dog competitions. And during World War I, the military used the Malinois as guard dogs, couriers, and Red Cross dogs. Intrigued by their extraordinary performance, American soldiers brought several Malis back to the US after the war. Since then, the breed has spread all across the globe. So then, what is their temperament like? And in recent years, the Malinois' popularity has been exploding, and today the sheepdogs from Belgium rank amongst the top 10 of America's most popular guard dog breeds. This leads us straight to the question then, why do so many standard dog owners choose the Mali over so many other breeds? And to find out the reason behind this extraordinary boom in popularity, let's start by discussing the temperament of the Belgian Malinois. These beautiful elegant dogs are naturally joyful, enthusiastic and friendly. Usually they get along wonderfully with people and other dogs, providing they were socialized properly. In a family environment, these dogs absolutely thrive on spending time with their favorite humans. When trained properly in terms of obedience and house manners, Malinois can make superb family companions. Nevertheless, as they are extremely, extremely high-energy dogs, they will be happiest when engaged in some kind of activity. You are guaranteed to be rewarded by joyful tail wags whenever you ask your Mali to join you for playtimes, training session, walks, or a dip in the pool. 
However, let's not forget that these Belgian shepherds do come with an inborn instinct to guard and protect their own, which makes them naturally reserved towards strangers. This instinct is amplified by the immensely strong bond that Malis form with their owners. Coupled with their extraordinary intelligence, your Malinois will be able to adapt their response to any given situation. Say, for example, you are walking your dog at night and some intoxicated person starts yelling and stumbling towards you when obedience trained and socialized properly your mali will probably switch to a state of alert at that point and then look to you for guidance this gives you as the dog's leader the opportunity to bring them to a nice heel position and verbally diffuse the situation however should that other person cross a certain threshold and invade your personal space your malinois will in all likelihood attempt to physically stop them first by growling and barking and should that not stop the approach by issuing what we call a warning bite in the vast majority of cases this will be enough for make any attacker back off however things will develop if that unfortunate circumstance and scenario further develops now serious dog bite injuries are usually only caused by malleys who have been formally trained as guard dogs and who either were given the attack command for good reason or who attacked the person suddenly charging their handler now all in all we can say that the malinois makes a very decent guard dog who will listen to their owners for instructions rather than blindly charging and biting a potential attacker in family environments they are amazing fun companions when sufficiently exercised and trained and of course them being such high energy breeds mallies are better suited for slightly older children as their play can be quite boisterous now let's turn on to intelligence and trainability and the malinois is a straight 10 out of 10 both in terms of intelligence and and trainability these smart and athletic dogs can be trained to extremely high levels and by high levels i do not only mean obedience but also guarding tracking and search and rescue these dogs are top performers and a pure pleasure to work with they are immensely eager to please their handlers and guaranteed to give their very best in every training session this high trainability coupled with their immense intelligence makes them learn things extremely quickly now these top-notch working dogs have received a lot of attention for their work in military and police force in the last few years malinois are the breed of choice for several special forces such as the navy seals and the u.s marines this in itself speaks for the malinois being a super high achiever in very challenging roles such as the role of service dog in war zones of afghanistan and iraq and as service dogs and sport dogs these amazing belgian shepherds have quickly overtaken the german shepherd whom they are said to trump in terms of intelligence trainability and agility and as actual sheep herding dogs they are at least as keen quick and efficient as the border collie and australian shepherd in search and rescue roles they tend to work faster and more efficiently for example say a rottweiler or a golden retriever now of course this extremely high capacity as working dogs also makes the malinois fun dogs for the average owner provided they give them sufficient mental stimulation and physical exercise your malinois will greatly enjoy learning new commands and trick training you can easily make such training sessions even more fun by adding in some play and due to their immense play drive the malinois absolutely loves to play any form of fetch or tug of war is especially adapt at tapping into that prey drive now are the belgian malinois healthy dogs well the malinois is generally a robust and very healthy breed but they can suffer from hip and elbow dysplasia as well as progressive retinal atrophy which is a degenerative eye disorder also they are unusually sensitive to anesthesia which means their risk of dying when put under anesthesia is much higher than many other breeds now of course as they are not only a rather large dog breed but also an extremely active one they are prone to bloat therefore it is very important to never feed your malinois directly after workouts the rule of thumb with this from my experience and research tends to be do not exercise them for at least 16 minutes before and after meal times as well avoid feeding them large portions instead feed your mali two or three times a day in smaller portions 
Now, the life expectancy of a Malinois, by the way, is usually somewhere between 10 and 14 years. And because the Mali is such an active breed, make sure to provide them with a diet appropriate for these working, sporting dogs. As a balanced, raw food diet has the highest nutritional content, this may well be the perfect way for feeding your Malinois. If possible, ensure that all products you feed them are sourced from organic, sustainable, ethical farming. Right then, how much exercise does a Malinois actually need? And the quick answer to that simple question is lots and lots and lots. And keep in mind that when handling this breed, you are dealing with the canine elite in terms of athletic ability. Without sufficient daily exercise, Malinois quickly become extremely destructive. They are prone to extreme levels of barking, and especially even more so when bored and understimulated, especially when they're left to their own devices. They are prone to launch serious chewing attacks on all of your possessions, digging deep holes into perfectly nice lawns or flower beds is another very popular activity amongst bored Malinois. Sorry to quickly interrupt the video guys, but I've just got to let you know that today's video is brought to you by our very own boot camp protocol. As a canine behaviorist, I've helped thousands of people be able to restructure their relationships with their dog, how to become a high level canine leader that can then address any behavior difficulties themselves to get to that point of having a perfect canine companion. So if you want my help with addressing any difficult behaviors you might be having with your dog, a link to our boot camp program is down in the description box below. So you can go check it out. There's tons of testimonials on the website it might be exactly what you're looking for but we'll get straight back to the video you were just watching so okay then what kind of positive outlet should we be giving for our malinois energy well whilst not every single walk with your malinois needs to be a super high end intensive workout for you both these canine athletes certainly do need a lot of exercise but there are a number of really fun ways to work out your malinois for example some of the most common and obvious ones might be a real good run off leash your malinois will need at least one nice run and i mean full speed full stretched out run once a day one good way to make a normal walk into a nice workout for them is play and fetch bring a toy along with you for your walk such as a ball or a frisbee or a kong and enjoy your super achiever going sprinting after it back and forward for as long as you're willing to go so i promise you you will get tired long before they do there's lots of things around the interactive play. Invest in a variety of different toys for your Malinois and then let the fun begin. Thick rope toys and durable tug toys are an excellent, nice game of tug of war with a Malinois. Another interactive toy that's an excellent for the agile Malinois is a flirt pole. These kinds of interactive games provide great workouts for your dog, but you've got to beware. Malinois are extremely quick and agile. This also applies to their teeth. An Accidents can unfortunately happen, so you want to keep your eyes on the dog during these kind of play sessions, especially when we're initiating that prey drive in the form of something like tug of war or a flirt pole. Another great option with your Malinois is cycling, and there is no doubt about it. Malinois are wonderfully suited to accompany you on outings on your bicycle, kind of on the roads, or even more so out mountain biking. Apart from their superb endurance, they are also very easy to train, making it very very easy to teach them to trot to heel on a nice loose leash to your left hand side if you're out on the pavement or if you're out mountain biking you can very easily train them to go with you off lead with a variety of different commands to get them to drop into safe different positions depending on what the terrain that you're attacking together is and a real good run for an hour or two while you're out on your mountain bike at top speed not only is fantastic for draining them physically but with all the obstacles that they have to avoid as well as being in tune with you and following your guidance and command is a fantastic way of draining their mental stimulation and building a wonderful bond with you as their owner. The variety of canine sports are also amazing if you're open to trying out some of these sports. You are guaranteed tons of enjoyment with a Malinois as your teammate. Malinois excel in things like obedience competitions, fly ball, agility and dock jumping, just to name a few, but you really can get them to extreme levels in any of the canine sports. And should you have a pool in your garden or a nice natural swimming spot nearby, you can easily enjoy the water together with your Malinois, especially when acquainted with water at an early age and trained and socialized to enjoy it. Malinois make excellent swimmers and will take immense pleasure in retrieving floatable toys for you. 
So what are the grooming requirements of a Malinois? Well, the beautiful, short, fawn-coloured coat of the Belgian Malinois is fairly easy to groom. However, they do shed, not only during shedding season, usually in spring and autumn, but also throughout the year. Therefore, a daily once-over with a really good brush is recommended. Now, as Malinois are on the top end of the spectrum when it comes to energy and activity levels, they tend to find it very easy to get themselves very dirty and wet very often but again because their coats are short and not very dense this is not usually a massive problem a spray down with a garden hose is usually enough to get them to return to their natural clean lovely state now of course if your malinois lives in the house with you cleaning off their paws before you're letting them come inside on those muddy adventures that you've been on together especially during wet rainy days is obviously a good idea otherwise you're going to get paw prints all over your home so to sum up our discussion of the legendary Belgian Malinois, we can say this breed is indeed the superstar amongst all of the Guardian breeds. Their popularity is very well deserved and will, in all likelihood, even increase in the years to come. Malis not only excel in professional roles, but also as active and fun companion dogs. With a Mali by your side, you will never know boredom ever again. And as well, you will be protected from home intrusions and attacks to your person at a very high level. All in all, I think the Belgian Malinois not only is a perfect fit for all enthusiasts of canine sports and dog training, but also for dog lovers who want a very active companion that they can provide that kind of levels of training, socialising, and most important, tons of exercise and mental stimulation. Therefore, if you are willing to fulfill those needs again especially physically and mentally there is no reason why you might not want to consider bringing a malinois into your home so i hope you enjoyed today's video and you found it useful if you did enjoy it make sure you hit that like button and if you are new here subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss any of our newest uploads we have regular videos coming here every single week and i can't wait to see you on the next episode of the femria canine show